Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be looking into some few examples of NIST instructions, like how you would convert a snippet of a C code or Java code into NIST instructions. Right, so as you can see, this is one simple one, we're starting with a simple one. This is just basic add, add operation. So what we have to do is we're going to have to add whatever the, uh, the like in, we have to add Y plus Z and we have to store it in X. Now, Y is this designated with $S1 register, Z is with $S2, and X is with $S0. So you can just do normal add, uh, wait, let me just make this font a bit bigger. So you would just do normal add, um, add dollar in, in add, just add dollar, dollar $S0, which is the destination, and then the sources are $S1 and $S2. So you have the destination dollar $S0, which which contains the addition, the additional result of dollar $S1 and dollar $S2. So that's as simple as that. That's just one line of code. Now this is the simplest one. For subtract, you would have a similar one. So if in this case, if it was something like x equal y minus z, y minus z. So we would have something like sub sub um, dollar s zero dollar s uh, dollar s one and dollar s two. That would be it. That's it. So uh, the load and store instructions that we have been seeing so far. Now the that in that example will be we will be looking at into these array manipulations as you can see in the example number two. So for this, we would have to load whatever is in uh, the index of dollar uh, index of in the index position of ten in the array x and add it with whatever is in y, and then we store that into the eleventh index position of the array x. So let's do the load operation first. So let's load whatever is in dollar whatever is in x array in the position number in the position ten. Now when you have when you're doing something like now, whenever you're in, whenever you're accessing an array index, you have to multiply that index with four because, as you, as we know, in MIPS, everything, all the instructions increment increment by four bits because it's a 32-bit MIPS instruction. So four bytes of uh, four bytes signify one word. So every every instruction increments by zero, four, eight, sixteen, and so on. So we have to uh, when we are loading when we are uh, when we are loading the instruction, what we have to do is the offset is given by so let's just write load. Oof, let me just increase the font size again. It's becoming a nuisance. All right. So whenever we are loading instruction, so we have to load from memory into an uh, into a register. So let's say the temporary register for this. Let's just name it to. It's a temporary register, so let's just take it as T0. So T0 is the register that we're going to load the contents of X, the uh, X10 into. So X10, so so the offset for uh, the this uh, load operation will be 10 multiplied by 4. So 10 multiplied by 4 is 40. So 40 is the offset, and the register for X array. As we have seen before, the, the register for X array is dollar S zero, so dollar S zero. So that's it. So that's how we load the instruction from the tenth index position of array X. The offset is we get the offset by multiplying four and the index position, right? So we have the contents of X ten in dollar T zero. Now we add this and uh, store it in another. Um, Temporary uh, register called dollar t1, and we, we add whatever is in dollar t0, t0, and dollar s1, dollar s1. s1 because s1 signifies y, right? So the addition is done. Now we will store the contents of dollar t1 into x11. Now store word. We store the instruction into store the contents of the register into the memory. So the contents of the register that we have is dollar t1, and we store this into the offset is 11 into 4, so 44 and dollar s0. That's it. That's about it. These three lines of code will signify 
your array operation of this uh, this array snippet that we have here over here. So dollar uh, so we just store whatever we got in dollar t1 and we store that into memory. Now let's look at this one. This is a tough one. Let me just increase the font again. This one is a tough one. So it has a lot of complex nested array operation as you can see. So let's see how it's executed. So the first thing that we have to do, so the first thing that we have to do is load. Um, yeah, so the first thing we have to do is load the contents of B4 into a temporary uh, register, so T0. So T0 will have the offset of B4 is 4, 4 is a 16. So 16 and the register for B array is dollar S7. So we have that, right? So that's done. Now what we now that we, now the situation sort of looks like this. Let me just comment it out. The situation sort of looks like this. A dollar T0. Now that doesn't make sense. That's not uh, MIPS cannot recognize something like this. Dollar T0 has the contents, yes. But a dollar t zero does not signify an index number. So what do we do for here? For this, what we do is we have to uh, basically shift left logical. We have to do a shift operation. Which shift operation? What it does is it's basically like multiplication. Now, when you're trying to multiply, suppose when you're trying to multiply something with four, the shift logical operation will be S L L dollar t0 dollar t0 sorry that was, I wrote that r0 so dollar t0 dollar t0 we, when we're trying to multiply t0 with 4 why do we have to multiply with 4 we know that uh, an array index is always multiplied dollar t0 contains the index right so we have to multiply an index with 4 because as we know MIPS always increments by 4 so we always have to multiply by 4 to get the offset so to get the offset, we have to multiply by 4. But when we're doing a shift logical instruction to do the multiplication task, what we do is we use, we add 2. We, we put 2. So if suppose we were trying to multiply it by 8, what would we have put? We would put 3. It's like 2 to the power of 2. So 2 to the power of 3 will give us 8. So if you want to multiply anything by 8, we would give 3. If you want to multiply anything by 16, we would give 4. If you want to multiply anything by 5, uh, 32 we would get 5 so on and so forth so the to the powers of 2 that's how we multiply it now if you want to multiply anything by 7 what would you have done I'm just showing you what would you have done if you want to multiply any uh, number by 7 so the closest thing to 7 is 8 uh, to the power of 2 so we would multiply it first by 8 and then we would subtract we would subtract it suppose we would subtract uh, dollar t zero. We we'll subtract one from it. All right. That's how the thing. That's how it's computed. Like we will have to do addition and subtraction later on to give the odd to multiply odd numbers. Right. So uh, back to the original code. So we are multiplying it by four because a dollar two t zero does not make sense for MIPS. So we have to first convert it into. We have to first. Multiple, uh, we have to first get the offset. So we're getting the offset. This is the step for getting the offset. Now, what we do is, what do we do? What do, what does MIPS do when we get the offset? We add the uh, to get the in order to get the memory location. We add the offset with the register. Now, we add the offset. The offset is stored in dollar t zero, right? So we add the offset. This is the destination. We'll keep this as the destination. We add the offset with this with dollar s6 dollar s6 right now what does this line signify it signifies that when you have the index dollar t0 uh, you, if you want to get the offset you have to uh, first multiply by 4 uh, in order to get uh, what you call in order to get the offset part and then when you when you want to do the addition of the offsets uh, and the register you add the offset and the register offset is stored in dollar t0 and the register is dollar s6 so S6 is for A. So yes, now this part is done. Now the whole contents of A, B4 is stored in dollar T0. Now we subtract whatever is in dollar T. Uh, now we uh, load. Now we load the word finally. Load the uh, load the contents from 
array A, like we load the contents from this part, like we load the contents, let me just comment this part out. We load the contents from A, B, four from the memory. So we do, what do we do? We load and then load and keep it in dollar t zero and then we load it from zero making the offset zero and dollar t zero now why zero why are we putting zero here because we've already done the whole multiplying the four and then adding the uh, adding the offset to uh, multiplying to get the offset and then adding that offset to the register part in these two lines of code we've already done that done that for MIPS. so that part is done that's why we all we, we just have to add the zero to it now if you just add zero to it we'll get the original the original address memory address memory location for that number now we do the normal subtraction part so we subtract dollar let's just keep it in dollar as zero because f is the destination so we keep it in as zero and we just subtract dollar plus one and dollar t zero that's it. That's about it for this part of code. I know it's a really complex one, so I would like you to repeat that part of the video again in order to understand more clearly. First, what we're doing is we're accessing whatever is in B4. So that's done easily. So for 4 the 16, we're doing that very easily. So for 4 the 16 will give us, so we're loading that part, and then we get B4. We get the contents of B4. That's loading $t0. Now, A $t0 does not make sense for MIPS, so we have to do everything for MIPS. So what we're doing is we're um, <clears throat> we have to first multiply by four to get the offset because uh, as we know when, whenever we multiply by four multiply the index by four we get the offset so dollar t zero is just the index itself it does it cannot recognize just dollar t zero on its, on its own so we have to multiply it by four and that's done by shift left logical shift right logical is division and shift left logical is multiplication and it works the same way with the powers of two now we multiply by four and then we add the contents of we add dollar s6 the the register or the address register of dollar s6 to the offset and then we store that in dollar t0 and now we finally load load the contents from a b4 into dollar t0 and then we subtract s1 a dollar t0 from s1 and store it in dollar s0 that's it for in the next part of the video we'll look into another one for loops uh, for loops and we also look into one example for the Fibonacci sequence how to execute the MIPS instruction for that. So stay tuned and good luck.